guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning level 8 framework tutorial this is our part number 77 inside this video we will customize our custom 404 error page now if i back to editor so this is our application setup now if you go inside this routes folder go to web.php so inside this web.php as we can see that we have a route of welcome page as well as we have a resource route for this device and this route we have developed inside previous videos so first of all we need to understand that is what is 404 404 is a http status code which represents that is resource not found for example if i back to browser go inside this application this is the same application and its code is available right here inside this setup so this is all about our welcome page now if i type here let's say about us and as we know that this route does not exist inside this web.php so when i type so here we are getting an error something called 404 not found it means that the route what we are looking for does not exist inside application now here inside this this is a custom layout means this is the layout actually by default Laravel provides now the task is how can we customize this 404 error page means we want some custom CSS we want some custom custom HTML custom images if we want to add inside this error page so how can we customize this error page called 404 if i back to editor now first of all we need to find that from where actually laravel is getting this 404 layout or what is the default page or skeleton that is laravel using so to get the default page go inside this vendor folder here we have a vendor folder which is at project root after that we need to go inside laravel folder framework src inside this src folder we have eliminate after eliminate go inside foundation and after this foundation we need to go inside this exceptions folder inside this exceptions here we have a folder called views and inside this views folder as we can see that we have 401.blade.php 403 404 and so on so these files are basically our exception pages so for this 404 we have the layout that is by default laravel is using something called 404blade.php now let's say that if we delete all the existing code and if i type simply let's say 404 error page if we save this file go and reload this page and as we can see that successfully we have customized that but is it safe because we have actually altered our core file as we know that the vendor folder contains all of the packages what actually we had installed via composer so it is means this method is not a better or recommended method so how can we override this 404blade.php now for that if i go inside this laravel documentation click on this documentation this is official website go inside this, this the basics inside the basics section here we have a section called error handling inside this error handling click on this HTTP exceptions of this documentation and here as we can see that if we want to make our custom HTTP error pages first of all we need to replicate or let's say that first of all we need to create a copy of all these files to our application so how can we create the copy of all these files for that we have a command inside this documentation and this is something php artisan vendor publish hyphen hyphen tag equals to laravel hyphen errors now if i copy this command simply copy this command back to terminal close this development server and simply i types in the command here pressing enter and as you can see that all the files now copied from this 
folder structure to our resources, views and errors directory. Publishing complete. Back to editor. Now close all these folders, close this file as well. Go inside app, sorry not app, go inside resources, views and inside views folder. Now we have extra folder called errors. If you go inside that, now all these files what we had seen inside vendor, now it is available inside this views directory and errors directory. So simply we want to customize 404. So simply I click in that and first of all let's understand that what actually these code means. So simply inside this file it extends a layout called errors means this is the folder name and inside this folder name means inside this folder we will have a file called minimal. Now if you go inside errors directory now inside this current directory here we have a file called minimal.bleed.php. So this file is extending this layout and inside this layout if we closely look all the code so here we have a placeholder for the title scroll down here we have a placeholder for code means this is the actually keyword we need to actually place the dynamic value from blade template files next placeholder we have for the message so inside this blade template file inside this parent layout we have three placeholders now go inside this 404.blade.php now inside this file simply we are extending this layout after extending these are the placeholders called title code and message actually what we have dynamically put inside this layout now if we want to customize simply i will remove all these codes and here if i write h1 let's say welcome to 404 error page. Now if we save this file, go and reload. So before that, we need to start our development server, PHP Artisan Serve. Go and reload this page and as we can see that welcome to 404 error page. And now this one is the better option to customize our error pages because this time we have made the copy of all those files from vendor directory to our resources directory. So right now inside this file we have a simple static message. If we want to create some layout of this error page, simply we can put here as a HTML some CSS code. Let's say that simply we are going to create some layout. And inside this head tag, let's say that inside this body we want something background color actually not inside this body first of all we need to create a style tag now inside this style tag let's say inside this body we want background and we want let's say gray color and also color equal to simply let's say white and what i will do next let's say font size equals to 20 pixel now after this head let's decreate our body element and inside this inside this h1 simply let's say 404 error page now if i save go and reload and as we can see that we have the background we have color equals to red and also we have our 404 error page now this is all about a little bit customization of 404 layout now apart from http code 404 we have also other status like 401 403 419 429 and many more so this is all about guys customization of 404.blade.php now if i back to browser again if we type this url exists in our application so that's why it is running now when i type let's say contact as we know that this URL does not exist in our application, so in that situation, we will get 404 error. So after getting 404 status code, it will pick the layout what we had customized here. Now go and reload this page. Again if I type, let's say contact, pressing enter and we are getting our custom error page. 
So successfully guys, inside this video we had seen that how can we customize 404 error page. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.